Let writer Jermaine T. Jackson take you into a world of his own creation, full of conflicting tropes and sight-stimulating action. A full page of text precedes this book, which is common for storylines that might be difficult to follow. But this arc is fairly straightforward, and the information we get from this opening paragraph doesn't even slightly lend itself to the rest of the pages. I was promised mortal wounds that empower warriors to great heights. What I got was fairly basic kung fu. Dead. I knew Jeez was dick the minute I picked it up, but the bloody battle starts this comic book off right. Once you get past the text, which you can pretty much skip. Artist Spike O knows how to keep the scenes and your eyes moving from one page to the next. The violence broils to excessive highs and carries on page after page. Normally, I would dick this choice, but the lines and colors are so on point, these five pages are pushing the book to the rich side. As soon as we get away from the brutal fight scene, the comic takes a nosedive. We jump time with a brief moment visiting our main character as a child. Much like the opening text, this is really unnecessary, and I'm starting to think this purchase may have been as well. Dead. The one good thing about the childhood sequence is that Spike O can draw faces as well as he does action. This guy can do it all. Well, as far as drawing cartoons is concerned. The book is very erratic until it settles on our hero as an adult, preparing to prove himself as a real G, which is like a samurai brotherhood. The Gs are special because they don't die when they sustain mortal wounds. They just get angrier and stronger. Seems like a cool superpower to me, so why don't we see it more? Instead, we see them coughing blood all the time. You need a bit of a background to keep up with this comic, or at least catch on to the tone early. Unfortunately, even with the opening paragraphs, it's still easy to get lost in here. Suffice it to say, it's a samurai tale with a gangster twist. Hence, G's, aka the realist. I won't spoil the ending, but as soon as you get into Spike O's rich artwork depicting hand-to-hand -hand combat, the book becomes worthwhile again. The ending leaves us right where we started, and no one's the better for it. I still don't know where this story is going. This number one issue receives a one on the rich side, but without a solid hook into the rest of the series, I won't be picking up another issue. Be sure to like and share this video, comment below, and let us know what books you want to see dicked. Hit that subscribe button and come back next time for more DICKED!